Hello? Hello, it's been a minute. Okay, so I'm filming a little update right now only because recently, I don't know why, but I feel like I've just been in kind of a funk when it comes to making videos. We haven't been recording a ton. We haven't really done a whole lot uh, since Blake has been home. It's actually been super, super nice. Blake spent four months of working 12 hour shifts, seven days a week. More than anything else, he's wanted to just like chill, um, especially because the last deployment he came home from, we actually just pretty much immediately traveled, which was fun and it was great, but we wanted to just like slow down and take it a little bit easy this time around. I have to sneeze so bad. <laughs> Phew! Oh my God. Okay, we're good. So I think part of the reason why I've been in kind of a funk when it comes to making videos is because I feel lame filming our lives right now because we're literally not doing a whole lot of anything, um, which is exactly what we wanted. And that, you know, that's what feels good right now, but it's a lot of nothing. And it feels weird to upload a video where I'm like, man, people are gonna think we're the most boring people in the world. We kind of are. I think I think that'll change a little bit now that we're into November. We have the holidays coming up, which is really exciting. And not only are the holidays coming up, but they're the holidays where we're both in Washington, where it feels like home and Blake is home. And it, it's gonna be like, we're starting all of these traditions from scratch, which is so awesome. I'm so excited. We have filmed a couple of things here and there. So I'll insert some of that footage right here. So what are the things that we've done? Let's see. One of the big things that happened is Blake actually took a DNA test. I don't know how many of you know this, but, but I actually ended up taking a 23andMe DNA test, like, I don't know, a year ago ish. I did it for my own curiosity. I just wanted to know that information. But one of the things that I actually found out when it came to me doing this DNA test was that I am actually the carrier. Um, I'm a carrier for a pretty serious disease. And as far as I know, on both sides of the family, nobody has the actual disease, but I had to get this I had to get this carrier status from something. So I've been researching it and it's pretty common amongst people of European descent, specifically Northern European descent. I think the odds are like one in 25 or one in 30 people are a carrier of this disease. And so because Blake is also of Northern European descent, we were like, hmm, maybe we should get you tested too because if we wanna start a family and it turns out that you're also a carrier, well, that's gonna change some things in regards to how we actually start a family. You know, we might have to do like genetic counseling or something like that. And just the fact that we have the ability to know this information is really incredible. So Blake took a DNA test. Hopefully you're not a carrier for anything, but we'll find out. <laughs> <Spit. laughs> it is gross, but here, here's the instructions if you want to read. <laughs> oh, I see and it pops it open. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 go. Oh. No! So yeah, Blake uh, took a DNA test. We don't have the results yet, but we'll get those shortly. What else have we done? I was actually sick for my birthday. Kind of crappy, like nobody wants to be sick on their birthday. So we didn't really end up celebrating my birthday that week. But the following week, Blake actually got tickets to go see Binging with Babish, who's a YouTuber here. He does food videos and he just came out with a cookbook and he was doing a book tour and he happened to be coming to Seattle and we were like, this is the moment. So we went to go see Babish or Andrew Ray on his book tour, which was really, really exciting. Couldn't actually film very much of it at all. Like specifically somebody came down and was like, hey, no no pictures or video during the event. And I was like, okay. There we did get some footage, but none of the actual event. So I'll insert that here. Actually, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on camera, but it's been a thing that's been relevant for like years. I have this app that tracks flights and I literally stalk planes everywhere we go. Are you zooming in super what? far? What are you doing? <laughs> Keep telling your story. Well, that is the story. Oh. The story is that I like to watch planes. I don't like to be on them, 
but I like to watch them from, from the ground. And then the coolest part is when you have the international plans come over because you can be like, oh, where'd that one come from? And you get to see on the app where it came from. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing it for literally years. Like, how long have been, I've been watching planes? Yeah, I don't know, years. Like, literally years. I think it's just so much fun. It is. Oh, it worked. Look, oh, it worked. look at all these planes. Well, there's SeaTac right there, so they all line up. And then come around. Isn't that cool? We are almost to Town Hall, which is where the book signing is. It's gonna be really fun. I don't know what to expect. We really have been talking about what this could be, and we have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. That's okay though. But there is something really magical about the city at nighttime. Oh, yeah. isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. I love it here. We're sitting down, and we also got two books. Two more books. Yeah. Which means, how many do we have now? Three. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. Oops. Okay. Oopsies. But these ones, check it out, they're signed. Wow. What a signature. For the record, this place is packed and I'm kind of amazed. I, what? I didn't think it would be this busy. But it is. Well, well, what'd you think? That was cool. That was so yeah. cool, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Thank you. That was the best birthday present ever. I thought that was so much fun. Was fun yeah. It was basically a big, big Q&A session with Binging with Abish. Yeah. And learning about, you know, his thought process behind it and what he, how he comes up with these things and where it all came, where it all came from. from. Yeah. yeah, it was just really cool. And then we did the meet and greet after, yeah. which we couldn't film because one, I was hella awkward. One of the things that we never really talk about because it's never really been relevant is that, you know, we vlog and stuff, but one of the last things I ever want to do is shove a camera right in someone's face right as I meet them. Oh yeah, Like, yeah. I never want to yeah. be that person. I just yeah. feel so weird about it. So, we didn't. <laughs> no. But he was still super cool. He was super cool, yeah. <laughs> it was fun, huh? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> It was honestly a really, really cool night though. It was it was so much fun. It was just nice to be in the city at nighttime. There's something so magical about Seattle at night. I don't know why, I just think it is. Today, Blake is actually, he's not in the car with me, clearly. He's getting his hair cut, but I don't know if any of you guys can relate with this, but I'm a girl and I feel, I feel weird being in a barber shop because it feels clearly like it's a man cave situation, you know? And I, I just, to make everybody a little bit more comfortable, mainly myself, <laughs> I decided to stay in the car to update the vlog while he gets his hair cut. After he gets his hair cut, we are going to go drive around neighborhoods and look at houses. Our hope, let me just give you like our hope for the next like year or two, okay? We hope to hopefully, fingers crossed, buy a house next year. That is like the main goal for next year is to buy a house. So we're starting to like look a little bit. Obviously Blake has another deployment coming up. I mean, you know, that's our life, right? <laughs> He'll be leaving again in, I think February. I, I don't know the dates or anything, but it should be around February as he leaves again, comes home again in June. That conveniently works out perfectly because we have our lease up in July. We could probably sign like, you know, another lease on top of it if we need to, or even do month to month or a six month lease or whatever. Um, so, you know, that shouldn't be a problem, but he comes home in June and that is like the high season here in Washington when it comes to buying a house. So there should be a lot of houses coming on the market and um, hopefully we'll have, hopefully, some choices because right now there's slim pickings. We've also toyed around with the idea of building a house. That's something, that I think is less likely to happen, but it is on the table. For any of you who have bought a house or built a house, let us know like in the comments down below like what your whole process was like. If you could do it all over again, what do you wish you would have done? What would you do differently? All of that stuff, give me give me insight because we don't know what we're doing. We still have to get pre-approved. We have to do the whole bit. Um, we, don't, <laughs> we don't know anything. So yeah, let us know your house buying woes in the comments down below and hopefully they will be helpful. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of our, our big goal next year is to hopefully buy a house. And depending on how the house buying thing goes, maybe, I don't know, depending on timing and everything, but hopefully, and depending on Blake's DNA test, <laughs> um, hopefully start the ball rolling with maybe starting a family. Don't freak out yet. Family, if you're watching this, don't freak out. Don't ask me questions. I don't know. I'm just saying it's a thing that might be on the horizon is all. That's all I'm saying, it's fine. 
don't question me, okay? <laughs> Look at your new haircut. Well, yeah. you can't really tell, but it's like nice and short on the sides. Mm -hmm. And they shaped up your beard. Whoa! We're gonna look at a couple houses. There, there were two. I think two, two or three. Two or three. Just cause, not that we can buy them right now, but soon. I hope so. Set up a GoFundMe. Set up a GoFundMe. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't think the YouTubes would be all that <laughs> charitable. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> There's a couple houses that we're gonna check out right now. The first house is a little bit smaller, quite a bit smaller, like a thousand square feet smaller. <laughs> but we're not sure if it has a house, but it is also significantly cheaper. Sorry, if it has a yard. But it also is significantly cheaper, so I don't know. We're just gonna check it out. We're just checking it out just to do it. I don't know if anybody else does this. Do have you like looking at houses in general, like even if we weren't on the market looking for a house to buy, it's still so fun. Yeah, well, we're at that age where it's something that is actually kind of like, I don't know, we're at that point in our in our lives, I feel like we're, we're buying a house and owning a house and living in an actual house and not renting is like. It's a well, thing that people do commonly. We're gonna do. Yeah. yeah, and it's like the next, I was telling them that it's kind of like the next big thing, like next year is kind of what we're hoping will happen. Yeah. Buy a house, um, and so, I mean, it's also kind of like deployment dependent, like timing wise, when this is all gonna happen. Yeah. So Always we're gonna is. have to wait and see, but yeah. you know, it's okay. It's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. So yeah, we're gonna check out this one house, see what we feel like, and yeah. It's one of these houses, and we didn't realize, I didn't realize they don't have a garage or a yard. No. That's why it's so cheap. We were like, why is this house so cheap? Yeah. That's why, that's literally why. So instead you have like this little parking lot and I guess people, I mean, they look nice. Oh, yeah. They're certainly nice houses, but I don't know if I want a house without a garage or yard. You know, the parking lot would come in handy for parties though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, not here, but the next one, you're gonna go left. These are pretty. Mm -hmm. So nice. I think it's that blue and brown house right on the corner there. Whoa, that's a big house. God damn. <laughs> that's a huge house. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> I like it too. It's huge though. I like it. You can make a family in it. That is cool. I like it. I know I do too. It looks like it's I like the colors of it. Yeah. It's got a yard so and, and a garage. It's, it's good. It's too bad it's on the market right now. We can't buy it right now. Well. What's stopping us? Oh, awesome. I mean, literally, I guess we could, yeah. but I don't yeah, know. Oh, and it's a cola sack. Yep, and he's got a TRD Pro. Oh, and this guy goes all out for Halloween. He's got a spider whip. This, this would be sick I like for, that. what do you call it? Like all the holidays, Christmas yeah. lights, Halloween. We'd get all the trick-or-treaters. Oh, yeah. I want to look at it. Like, I want to drive past it on my side. Oh, that is a really pretty I house. Know. I like it. It's so pretty. I'm like awkwardly filming and there could be like actual humans like this is still our house. <laughs> I like this neighborhood. Me too, it's really nice. It's super nice. Like I like all of these. Oh, and these are duplexes. Yeah. So they're like combined. Like Two families live here. Oh, nice. How big is that house? 2,400 square feet. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's a, that's a big house. It is. Wow. This is a huge house, but it is nice. I like that the kitchen has an island. Mm -hmm. That's like one of the things I want so bad in a house. Oh, it's gas too. Gas has a big like seating area and then a loft above, which is really nice. And big, big windows to let all the light. It has a fireplace. It's so nice, I like. And it has a little yard and it has like a community like play area for kids. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it's so nice. Hey, did you do this? Did you, did you get in the trash? Does your tummy hurt? I bet it does. Did you eat the trash? Oh my God. Did you help? <laughs> oh 
my god. Okay, we made it to the end of the vlog. Congratulations, everybody. We made it! Yay! Yay! Yay. Blake, how's your game? Good, I've put a ton of hours into it. I know you have. That's Already. all we've been doing yeah, since you've been home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What is it, Destiny? Yeah, Destiny 2. Destiny 2. That's yeah. that's the game of the moment, everybody. Yep. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.